What's up everyone? Well, with Christmas over, I have some gifts that I have to show you that are in the tank now. I'm going to take you through an update and give you an update on the sump. So stay tuned. Okay, like I said, there are some new additions to the tank and we'll get to them in a minute. Uh, but right now I'll give you a quick rundown of how things are looking and going. Uh, the frog spawn coral is doing really well. It's rebounded from um, the flow problem that I was having a little while ago over the Christmas break. And it's filling up, putting more heads out, and it's about 21 heads in here now. The Worldwide Corals Torch that I picked up is really growing now. The tank in general is hitting a growth stride and it seems like everything is growing pretty well at this point. Uh, this puts out sweeper tentacles now that are about seven inches long and even at night there's one huge one that comes out that you can see uh, that's about seven inches. The blue tip green torch it's filling out and they love the flow in this area. The frog spawn um, is filling out here and it really likes this spot even though it gets a little bit more flow than its neighbor, but it has filled out and grown uh, pretty well and the tentacles are thickening up. The hammer coral below it has split into two heads. So the euphilia corner of the tank is really doing well. I moved the base of the red digi that was broken off over to here and you'll see why in a second. But it seems to like this position and is filling out and polyping up well. One piece of bad news is the pagoda coral is not doing so well. It looks like it's pretty much fading out. I don't know why and I have tried every position in the tank. So my plans are for this is to maybe frag off the part that still is, has life and get it into a system that it, that'll like even better. Um, this is one of the new acquisitions when I picked up some new Zoas. This baby uh, Fungia plate was sitting there and um, I just had to take them. It seems to like this area off the sand, so I'm going to leave it there and see how it progresses. Right now it's a neon green with clear tentacles and it looks like uh, at night a blue tip. The neon green candy canes are filling out really well as usual and um, they're basically staying here from now on because uh, I really like the growth that they're getting and the heads, the polyps are really, really spreading out. The A cans are doing really well. Uh, you can see the orange one over here is sprouting a couple of new heads and the green one is really filling out well also. Moving up into the middle of the tank, the green encrusting Monty is getting uh, more and more growth and even the polyps are changing as you can see on the end they're turning from a brown to a green center across here the pink setosa this coral will mo be moved uh, you can see how the polyps are extended on the one side and not so much on the other as opposed to the red setosas that are sitting above it out in the open uh, these things are growing by leaps and bounds more and more every day and so I'm pretty sure that the Satosa loves to be in this position and I'll move the pink one up into the middle of these two and see how it does there. The cat's paw coral is doing really well in its new position. You can see how right here it's encrusting onto the rock itself. This is a pink Leptosiris that um, was given to me by Billy Pipes. 
Uh, since it's been in the tank, it has started growing down and starting to encrust more. And you can see here by the um, edge that's a different color than the rest of it, that's new growth. Now for uh, a big piece of news. Uh, this was a gift from Danny at Coral Lust. This is a Jason Fox Barney acro. Uh, it's the first true acro that I put in the tank. And since putting it in, it has really started to grow a lot. Uh, I'm getting great polyp extension from it. And um, it's making me feel really good because this was the last piece of the puzzle that I had um, in trying to grow an acro in my tank. The purple and red digi, what can I say, this is really taking off. It's filling up more and more of my return tower. The purple candy canes in the back are doing well. They're very slow growers but they don't show any ill health or uh, any signs of stress and they just like that spot and that's where they'll stay. The two Favias that I have in the tank are really doing well. <clears throat> this one in the back is is very slow growing as opposed to this one when I first got it was covering maybe half of that rock and now has spread to the right and has even started to come over the edge. I moved um, this just a little bit over to get a good better look at it and the mushrooms on this rock are really doing well this one decided it liked this this spot it was my first experience with a mushroom moving so uh, let's see how they grow out and this one still don't know what it is it could be an acan but uh, it's growing and I'm waiting to see it get to a point in time when I can recognize what this is. Now the Zoa Garden itself is really taking off. It's filling in and it's doing really, really well. What I did is I also picked up over at Coral Lust, I picked up four polyps of, of the Rastas and four, uh, well actually it's more like five or six of the Fiji Fire Zoas. So they're brand new, that's why some of them aren't opened. And it just gives more variety to this to the Zoa garden and more color. But the garden in general is a real focal point of this tank. And last, as far as coral con is concerned, the Monty Pore, the Red Monty, is really doing well. The growth has taken off. It started to split and now it's forming its its shape. So as far as this coral that was slow growing at one point has really started taking off. Like I said, a lot of my corals at this point in time, the, the tank is a year and four months old. And a lot of my corals are, are taking off and growing rapidly. And the tank itself has kind of hit a, hit a stride where there's very little bad news in the tank. Um, the update about the sump is that it's still running very minimal. The protein skimmer is basically the only mechanical fil filtration down here. The center is filled up with grape calerpa and it's filling up continually. I will thin this out in half and in a week it'll be refilled. So that's really going crazy. And as you can see, the only other thing I have in here is the return pump with my auto top off section. So uh, the JCOD 9000 is really doing well. And the sump itself, I couldn't be happier with. As you can see, I try to run as little as I can in the way of um, additives or media. The only other thing that I have besides this is uh, calc washer that I dosed through my ATO and I mix that with a little vinegar to help really concentrate the calc in the auto top off. So that's pretty much it. Um, the last thing that I have is as you saw on, 
uh, the last video this has become my favorite thing to do is I will sit here and I will go along and move this along my corals and look at each one it gives me a chance to inspect it in a way I could never do before and I've also caught two Astorina starfish one on this shelf and one on the rock above it uh, because of it I can really examine the corals and it, it would allow me to catch any ill effects long before I would see it with my eye the fish, it's, the fish themselves are doing really well um, there's no complaints uh, as you can see the hippo tang's doing well the blue tang bigger and fatter than ever and my two clowns are really doing well the fox face has started to show a sign of age in that ridge that's right below uh, the black dot and I've never noticed that one before yellow tang is doing really well and the only signs of aggression that I have in the tank are these two knuckleheads because there's two males in the tank um, you see they just they go after each other occasionally and that's really my only aggression in the tank so uh, that's it for the update I'll be coming up uh, with a lot of things coming towards a new year uh, there'll be hopefully a lot more interviews and tank tours and product reviews coming up for you in the new year so you can look out for those and uh, with that I'd like to wish everybody a happy new year oh a little bit more aggression I didn't see that before that's new so anyway uh, happy new year everyone and as always this is Scott and I will see you soon around the reef tank